so as you can see I have added another camera GoPro but this is a very basic very old GoPro which I had lying around so I was just trying to give a different perspective to the video because it always used to be the front and the rear camera which was recording so I thought uh, maybe we will add a third camera just to give a different perspective so see and let me know how this looks uh, if you are interested in uh, such camera angles some may seem funny some may feel weird so yeah do check it out so this ride was uh, after one week of break I was not feeling well it took me uh, at least one week to recover from the viral and this was just after uh, the recovery I just thought I'll go out and go for a ride I was feeling pretty good actually well up to here but suddenly I started to get cough I was holding pretty good speeds till now um, yeah I was messing around with the camera a bit now I just had a sip of water I think that you can feel uh, you can feel and you can see me struggling there so I'm not finding it easy to ride at that speed it usually happens when I come back from a break uh, but because of cough I was not uh, actually able to breathe freely and write so here I started to get a cough continuously and actually I just stopped here for two minutes to just regain my breath back get myself composed and of course change the camera angle to give a different view so this is the Wahoo so all the stats are displayed here I'm averaging 25 usually on this route so soon I, I don't average but today I was averaging pretty well and I was able to hold speeds well one thing I also noticed is after a week's break even though the uh, endurance may not be so much but because your legs are fresh you can usually hold speeds pretty well it's kind of weird to say but it does happen to me like this so if I keep riding daily I might not be able to keep up with such speed and also yes main thing the weather uh, it had just stopped raining the weather was cool breezy and uh, you tend to not sweat more so that usually plays very well with me I able to hold good speeds so what I wanted to also check was uh, if you remember from my previous video my front wheels were making a bit of noise so I was just trying to put some weird camera angles to see you know what does the uh, wheel noise has it stopped or has it, is it still recurring noise or something like that so this GoPro uh, since it's pretty old it's a closed GoPro when I say closed the mic is all sealed inside so the noise uh, what you hear uh, is actually the GoPro shaking a bit it's uh, because even though I put in the handlebar mount uh, the rubber uh, grips on them they didn't match my handlebar so I had to remove the rubber grips and it's basically just lying on my handlebar it's tight but it's there is no dampening effect because of uh, not having that rubber but that's okay so again uh, I was able to hold 28 30 on a regular basis and actually I average around 27.5 for this whole ride uh, the whole ride was actually 40 km but uh, I have just reduced it to uh, 17 on this uh, video because I recorded uh, two different times just to get a good average speed on Strava so because once you reach PCN your average goes down so yeah so I just turned around I just try, was trying different angles here uh, one thing I, I noticed is this uh, 
truck was stopping the wrong place there uh, but he did give me a hand signal to go ahead which is good which uh, this is what i like i also raised my hand to thank him for that so it's kind of a uh, you know good deed by the drivers actually just to say sorry kind of a thing and just to make you aware that there is uh, something happening in so it's good so now so what i did is i turned around and uh, going back now because i thought i'll go till changi village but uh, i could feel that uh, due to cough uh, whenever my heart rate goes above 175 i start to get cough and it just didn't feel comfortable for me so yeah in the middle i used to <laughs> stop quite a bit to change the camera angle it was just a new thing for me i usually don't stop like this on the cycling paths i just keep going but yeah, i thought what the heck uh, i have extra camera let me try let me see what difference does it make and i actually liked it actually so it was good to see uh, even my position on the bike how i am pedaling how much the bike moves around you don't actually feel that the bike is from moving around so much uh, but uh, having these camera angles actually kind of helped me to understand how i cycle and how my face looks when i'm tired so yeah it was fun it was fun thing to capture and uh, again so here you can see the radar alerting me for the incoming vehicles there from the back so i would always highly recommend to have this radar because it just gives you alert as and when to say what vehicles are coming behind you as it showed there and weirdly i noticed this was about i was about to end my ride end my ride in the sense i used to reach ecp and i started to ride fast and the speed sensor for some reason you can see the radar got disconnected here the right side it, it doesn't show anymore and suddenly keep an eye on the speed suddenly the power everything went off and the speed just kicked out to 126 125 for some reason i don't know why i think the speed sensor uh, i have seen this happen for the wahoo speed sensor especially when the weather is a bit cold i think it takes a bit sometimes it acts weird just how it is and i think the radar getting disconnected was also the cause i guess because i think the head unit was processing something and it lost track of what's happening i guess so this is the part i like this is the last part where we return back to the ishkosh park here people usually tend to speed up and go and this segment i have driven it very fast but today is already behind 8 seconds so and i didn't have energy you can see my heart rate already at 186 and i thought okay there is no need to push today just relax just finish the ride and uh, go back here again i was just trying to see what's happening with the speed it used to i was going at 30 31 as i could feel it but suddenly the speed sensor was going heavy so yeah i was about to end ride uh, i came back it felt good actually the whole ride right you can see my average there 27.6 around right i usually when i go from ecp2 to, towards changi i usually don't have the leg power but that day felt great actually so and because it was a bit wet you can see you can hear my brakes creaking a bit so i just stopped here I usually pit stop relax for a while and then uh I tried one more camera angle. So this is again I reached the Ishkosh Park. I had stopped my Strava and again restarted it for a new journey because you know you can't really average a uh, good speed on this and there is a speed limit on the Ishkosh Park. So I thought I'll just relax a bit, have a chill ride and also you know people who have not visited Ishkosh Park and want to cycle here just to give them an idea how it looks how the views are it's a very nice especially this weather uh you know some people like it hot i also like it bright sunny but 
some days you just need to go out and enjoy the cool busy weather as well <clears throat> i am lucky to stay near the ishkosh park so this is usually my typical route to come and explore um so yeah i think uh, i just recorded around 2 to 5 minutes uh, from here um this is just to give a different view on the left and uh, again after some time i changed the camera angle to the right because uh, some people don't know there is a wakeboarding in ishkosh park so it's a nice thing if you want to try if you are adventurous i would say please give it a try many people do try it and especially uh, during this evening time the wakeboarding area actually looks very pretty so you can see here there are lights there are people walking around it's a happening place i just love this place there are lots of cyclists around always keep your hands on the brakes as you can see i tend to be more hands on on the brake this area because usually people scattering around here but you can see good thing kids are out with their family going out riding i love this wakeboarding place and uh, very happening place and also i think you will get a famous uh, seafood court hey see restaurant i would see good restaurant i should say seafood restaurant around here so yeah it's always pretty much full uh, over the weekend so i hope you enjoyed this different camera angles and uh, if you like it please do give a like share don't forget to subscribe it really helps uh, cheers and uh, hopefully i come up with two more videos next week so please tune in enjoy bye